my friends, I decided to share with you why I'm going back to Eden. This video will introduce you to the concept, why I am doing it, and also the methods that I'm using that could be a little bit different of maybe what you've seen around. Back to Eden is a gardening method based on a documentary that I'm going to link down below. It's about an hour, but explains the principles of this gardening system and it makes sense in my head. And when we moved to this property with no house, just a yurt and a lot of dirt, I decided to start my garden with the back to Eden method. So this day, that was the most successful garden I've ever had and I changed things up trying different methods the following years but nothing works like Back to Eden. So this year I've been working on a series of videos to show you how I start the garden, what they produce, how long it takes to germinate and all the benefits of this method. But that will come later. In this video, I really want to introduce you to the way I'm using or the method I'm using to come up with these wood chips, the work behind it, and a lot more. Then little by little, I will be sharing different garden beds from start to finish to show you the results. I must confess that I believe that I'm a bit of a hippie. I kind of want to get back to nature as much as I can. So because of that, and because we live in the country, the method that they shared on that gardening method video, Back to Eden, did not work for me. I don't live in a city and despite having lots of companies that chip wood because of how many trees we have, they don't really deliver to our area. So I made myself the promise that I would make my own wood chips. And we are plentiful in the branches and you know debris department. So it was going to be a commitment to not only chip all this wood, but also collect it. Now for the wood chipper, I'm gonna start picking up all the stuff from the girl's pen. I do big and small things and I just make a pile. So then when we turn it on, You know, we have quite a bit to go through. So I made a small pile here and another one over there. So now we have some chipping to do. So despite having a lot of debris that I can make into little piles, it does take most of the time just to come up with all those piles and where they're going to be concentrated to put the wood chipper but the wood chipping itself uh, for a couple of wheelbarrows that I chip myself it's going to or it, it's taking me about an hour and every day that it's not raining I am chipping a couple of wheelbarrows so that way I can not only come up with things around the homestead to use these wood chips but I'm able to add a lot of compost to each of the beds and then on top of that add the wood chips and that way the beds are ready for when I'm going to transplant whatever I'm sowing right now. So. 
my husband loves to tease me because I don't use your typical tools. Again, I think I'm coming back to my hippie side. I rather use my hands. I rather touch the wood chips. I rather be in contact. And if I'm being honest, my back is not the greatest. And if I use any tools, the movement of picking up with a tool really is, um, it affects me more than if I use my hands. I've also filled this garden bed with more manure that I got from over there where I was piling the manure from the duck's pen and I just put some little onion starts here that one over there that very last square is not it has nothing inside so what I need to do is get wood chips and just put it all around to kind of help with the moisture so I don't have to water it that often and at the same time it's going to help with the freezing so it's just I mean I planted this Sunday and now you can see how it's starting to sprout over here can you see that white greenish so I'm very happy with this With the second wheelbarrow, what I did is cover these two garden beds. This one, as I showed you, it was with already planted with some onion starts and I was trying to not only go in between but a little bit on top to kind of protect them from some cold weather we were getting. And I didn't do a super thick layer because it didn't need it, but I can always add more mulch as it's needing more. And if I see any weeds trying to peek in, but this is kind of showing you that even if you have things already down on the ground as little as onion starts you can still use wood chips protect the soil that it's not going to freeze as much as if you have just bare soil it's going to help retain water but at the same time it's not going to be soaking wet because a lot of that moisture is also absorbed by the wood chips and that's why i started in the middle of winter when we still have lots of rain. I'll cover the onions a little bit, but it will be okay. They're starting to grow already, so. Uh, soon enough they'll be picking out, but at least it's covered and it's gonna retain more water. And at the same time, it's not gonna let it soak in so much if it rains a lot. This one is the other, and I'm gonna put all those wood chips on top, and then I'm gonna get going with the covering of the sides to start some seeds here. Now this is a tall bed that is full of wood underneath and just about 10 inches, I would say, of um, some soil that it's been making itself because I've been adding just the clean out of the duck's house and the goat's house. I also did a little bit of peat moss last year on top to kind of help with texture but the purpose of me putting wood chips on this one as you can see that tall bed that I made two years ago with my kids is to have enough heat okay. that so, comes from the bottom. With the wood chips, it probably needs more, but once I close it so you have an idea, it's like a little greenhouse. Now the light does go through and um, it's immediately a little bit warmer underneath. I just need to cover the sides, but I wanted to show you um, kind of what we're working underneath before I put the plastic. So now I'm gonna use 
these wood chips to cover here this very muddy area around the boys So this is all that this covered and the good thing about wood chips is just that it absorbs more water and it's not as slushy so you can see with a straw even though it's mulch look at this so little by little we're gonna cover this entire pen with wood chips but gonna be a little uh, a little at a time okay so I did a little shaving and you can start to see her beautiful first freshener adder I have goats trying to bite my fingers to get in outside yes you so you can see it was a lot of hair okay you're done. She let me know with the sweet. 